This is Jay Richards with the Heritage Foundation. We're here at the Detransitioners Awareness Rally in Sacramento, California, and we just heard a group of detransitioners tell their experience. So how would you explain to someone that's just walking on the street like what the, a Detransitioners Awareness Rally is? This is the awareness of all of the harms that gender medicine has done to pretty much anybody who will be honest about what they have been through. What this event is about is we're just bringing awareness to detransitioners because if you look at the media right now, you only see that it's the transition perspective that it's good it's healthy that their life is sunshine and rainbows but the dark side that most people don't understand is that people like myself and the other speakers who were speaking today we're in pain our bodies are failing we're only young young in our 20s and our bodies are feeling that of an 80 year old or older it is not political at all in nature it is just about our experiences and what we need what led you to decide you wanted to talk about this publicly? I got to the point where I was like, you know, it doesn't help anyone if I just stay in my room and mope about things. That doesn't help anyone. And I, I really, I, I care about kids getting that chance to grow up whole. I really do. I, you know, I've worked with kids in the past and I just, they have a certain magic and innocence to them that deserves to be protected, especially from ideologies like this that leads to direct harm. Us detransitioners, we're not taking it seriously. There's not resources specifically for us, like there was transition. And it was just such an easy pipeline to fall into. I had a lot of comorbid um, mental health conditions that were just not looked into, not assessed, not treated. I was just throttled into transition. A big part of what motivates me to do this is knowing that there's so many other people out there who are like me. So many other girls and boys and men and women, but not every one of them is able to find their voice. Not everybody can, can find the strength or support that they need to be able to speak out. At 13, I was able to have a full double mastectomy. Uh, we're right on the edge here. Of course, there's things happening in other states. I mean, how do you feel about where things are at the, the moment? The medical systems that even pioneered the idea of giving kids puberty blockers, they have reversed course on this and decided that letting kids grow up whole with actual help is the best course. And that makes me hopeful. I just hope the U.S. doesn't take such a long time to catch up.